Howdy fellow car lovers, back on the channel, and we're diving into some cool car history. Today, we're checking out the relics of the road, the features that once ruled but now, well, they're just history. Join us on this journey back in time as we uncover why these old car goodies are nowhere to be found on the roads today. Buckle up, folks, it's gonna be a nostalgic ride. Ventilator windows, folks, back in the 1930s to the 1950s, were the real deal. Picture this, back in the day, these little wonders were like a breath of fresh air for your ride. They were installed down there below the hood to amp up the airflow inside your car. Can you believe it? But then, as time rolled on, and fancy air fresheners and high-tech temperature controls came into the scene, these windows kinda became yesterday's news, the world moved on, and so did our cars. So, let's take a little trip down memory lane and see how these window fans went from being car coolers to, well, not so cool anymore. Times change my friends, and so do the things we thought were essential. Ain't that something? Let's talk about a blast from the past curb feelers, now, if you're old school like me, you might remember these little doodads hanging out on car bumpers. They were like the car's personal navigators, giving you a heads up about curbs and whatever else was trying to get in your way when you were on the road. Back in the day, it was a game changer. You're cruising along, and these small bars are like your car's buddy, saying, hey, watch out for that curb, pal. Simple, effective, and kind of charming. But here's the kicker as time marched on, drivers started getting sharper, and car designs. Well, they got fancier than a three-ring circus. With all these new bells and whistles, those trusty curb feelers started feeling a bit left out. It's like they went from being the hero to, eh, we got this. Fast forward to today, and you won't find these little guys hanging around anymore. Nope. They pulled a disappearing act and landed right in the pages of car history. It's a wild ride, seeing how something that was once a driver's helper turned into a relic of the past. All right, let's dive into a piece of history ashtrays and lighters in cars. Back in the day, it was a must-have, like your keys and wallet. Everybody wanted a spot for their smokes and a way to fire em up on the go. But hold on to your hats, things ain't what they used to be. As folks got hip to the health risks of puffing away and society started putting the brakes on smoking, these car smoking essentials took a hit. People realized there's more to life than rolling down the road with a cloud of smoke behind you. And let me tell ya, the times, they are a changin. Fast forward, and you'll notice a shift our rides aren't packing the ashtray lighter combo like they used to. It's like they went from being VIPs to sitting in the back row. Why? Cause we wised up, my friends. We realized it's not cool to hotbox our cars, and society laid down some new rules. Back in the day, cars rocked a hefty spare tire in the trunk it was like a backup dancer, just waiting for its moment. But hold on, things have shifted. Tire tech got a glow up, roadside assistance became a thing, and suddenly, lugging around a massive spare tire became yesterday's news. So, here's the deal as technology revved up, tires got tougher. The chances of a flat dramatically dropped, and even if you did catch a bad break, there's a cavalry of roadside heroes ready to rescue you. That old school spare tire? It started feeling like dead weight. Fast forward to today, and peek into your trunk you're more likely to find a compact spare, a donut, or some slick tire repair kit. Why? Cause we're all about efficiency, my friend. Smaller spares mean less weight, better gas mileage, and more room for your gear. Now, let's talk about a game changer in the safety department non-collapsible steering columns. Back in the day, these things were a serious hazard in accidents. But fear not, advancements in safety technology introduced foldable steering columns that absorb impact forces during crashes. Stick around as we unpack how this innovative idea marked a significant shift in car safety. In the not-so-distant past, regular steering columns posed a real threat in collisions. Imagine this you're in a crash, and the steering column, instead of yielding, becomes a rigid barrier, adding more injury risks. Not ideal, right? That's where the hero of our story comes in the foldable steering column. Now, with the magic of engineering and safety tech, when a collision happens, the steering column takes a different approach. It folds or collapses, absorbing the energy generated during the crash. It's like a safety net for your chest, reducing the impact and lowering the chances of serious injury. You ever come across manual chokes in cars? Once upon a time, they were the go-to for tinkering with the air-fuel mix in carburetted engines. But hang on, times changed, and so did our engines. Enter electronic fuel injection systems and those manual controls? 
Well, they took a back seat. Back in the day, carbureted engines relied on manual chokes to get the right air and fuel combo. Drivers had to play mechanic, adjusting things to make the engine purr just right. It was a hands-on affair, but it had its charm. Now, roll forward to the era of electronic fuel injection FI. Say goodbye to manual chokes and hello to a smarter, more efficient system. FI is like the brainiac of engine management precisely calibrating the air and fuel mix without you lifting a finger. It's hands-free, hassle-free, and a gam. Ever heard of vent windows? Those nifty little hinges that let in some fresh air without cranking down the whole side window. Picture it cruising with a breeze but without the full-on windstorm. Sweet, right? Well, once upon a time. As the ARC game stepped up its coolness and cars became all about cutting through the wind like a sleek arrow, these vent windows started feeling a bit outdated. It's like they went from being the hip accessory to the old school relic. Back when, those vent windows were the answer to staying chill without committing to a full window roll down. A bit of airflow, a touch of freedom, it was the small joys in driving. But hey, times change, and so do the features we once thought were the bee's knees. Remember bench seats? They were the epitome of simplicity and space galore. Picture this, room for you, your buddy, and maybe even your neighbor's dog. It was the era of cozy cruising. But hold on to your seatbelt, things took a turn. Safety rules shifted gears, and suddenly, the landscape of what folks wanted in their rides changed too. Enter the era of individual seats, each decked out with built-in safety features. No more squeezing in next to your pal. Now, it's all about having your designated spot, complete with its safety bells and whistles. That's the scene we're accustomed to these days. Bench seats, once the symbol of comfort and communal rides, slowly rode into the sunset. The reason? Well, it's a blend of comfort and personalization. People started valuing their own space, and car manufacturers adapted to the demand for a more personalized driving experience. Remember the good old days when steering a car meant flexing those muscles? Back then, turning the wheel felt like wrestling with a stubborn giant. But as cars bulked up and became heavier, that manual labor behind the wheel started feeling more like a workout than a leisurely drive. Then, in the 1950s, along came a game-changer power steering systems. These babies revolutionized the way we navigate the road. Picture this, instead of a wrestling match, it became a dance. Power steering systems took the brawn out of steering, making it a smoother, more effortless experience. Before power steering, every turn of the wheel required serious arm strength. It was like trying to wrestle a bear just to make a simple maneuver. But as cars evolved, especially with larger and heavier models hitting the scene, that old-school manual steering felt like a relic from a bygone era. Now, with power steering in the driver's seat, turning the wheel became as easy as pie. The hydraulics or electric systems did the heavy lifting, making even the tightest turns a breeze. It was a technological leap that turned driving from a physical challenge into a more comfortable, user-friendly. Closing the chapter on wing windows, those tiny three-sided buddies on the front doors that once brought in a bit of extra breeze. Back in the day, they were like the cool cats of car features, but as designs got slicker and air conditioning became the new cool kid on the block, these little windows faded into the background. Stick around as we unravel the story of how these charming wing windows became a thing of the past. Wing windows, with their funky triangular shape, were the go-to for some added ventilation. A twist of the handle, and voila instant fresh air without the full commitment of rolling down the main window. It was a nifty setup, giving drivers and passengers a taste of the outdoors without messing up their hair or letting in too much noise. But, and there's always a but, as car designs got sleeker and aerodynamics took the spotlight, wing windows started losing their charm. The quest for efficiency and smoother lines led to more streamlined designs, and those little triangular windows were left in the dust. Well folks, that wraps it up for today. We've delved into the transformations and farewells of some iconic car features as time rolled on. If you enjoyed this journey down the memory lane of car history, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Share your thoughts in the comments ever owned a car rocking one of these old school features? Until our next rendezvous, take it easy on the roads, drive carefully, and keep that spirit of exploration alive. Catch you on the flip side.